Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly grind video. This week we're going over the JP side of Dokkan Battle for a weekly grind Wednesday. In this video, we're going to be going over all of the events and summons that are currently available in game. So that's like the story stuff and the Dokkan events. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, the first the fourth virtual Dokkan Great Warfare version 2.0 or Battlefield is available, runs until 731. Go ahead, take advantage of that. You can now get LR Korra. Uh, by the way, I, I am working on slash have done some videos uh, for LR Korra and the, um, the all the other stuff that's actually out on the banner right now. That, those will be released over the next couple days before the third year anniversary on global i also have a an analysis video which i don't know if it's going to go up tonight or if it's going to go up tomorrow uh pretty much going over the difference between lr gogeta lr vegeto and the banners that were on the jp side so um I'll, I'll have that up at some point so just stay tuned for that as well if you're interested in knowing um so this ends on 731 anyway go ahead run it when you can um, i'm not personally doing it if it ever comes to global which i don't think it will but if it ever does come to global i will then do it and i'll do some gameplay videos and stuff like that Next one is going to be the Ultra Fierce Battle event held. Um, so it's the Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, full power for Super Saiyan 4 Goku Dokkan event that's here. You go get the medals and you can Dokkan Wake in the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the new tech one, um, and the new strength Goku as well. Uh, you need to, you need those medals in order to Dokkan Wake in both of these units. Right now, that's all that there is. Uh, this Goku, you also need the medals from the actual story event that's available. Um, that's actually this story event right here. Uh, and th by the way, this uh, the actual Dokkan event ends on 731, so you have the full month to actually run it. Um, the actual story event ends on 719, so that's going to be running for at least another two weeks about. Um, this is the Dragon Ball GT uh, Super 17 event, or the Ultimate Android event. Uh, really quick to note, uh, level 1 you get some training locations, which is definitely worth the grind. Um, level 2 you get, uh, there's going to be two different paths, one has Frieza, one has Cell. Uh, depending on the path you choose, you either get Frieza, a, drop, a card drop, or a Frieza metal. Um, or the other side is going to be Cell card, or Cell uh, metal drop. So it's one of the two, it's kind of cool. Both of these guys feed into their uh, counterparts that are available for summon on the banner. Uh, you have Android 18, which is farmable from level three. Uh, uh, Android 17, yeah, so Android 18 from level three, Android 17 from level four, um, with some basic awakening medals from five. Uh, six is Dendes and Yemas, which is actually kind of decent, and seven is those Goku medals I told you about that's required in order to Dokkan Wake in that Goku that's summonable. Um, one thing to note, I think the 17 and, and the 18 I'm not sure. I don't think they, they are specific. They are Android 17, Android 18, slash 4 GT specifically, so they don't feed into any of the other standard Android 17 and 18s. Um, we also have the other GT event that's here. Runs also until 719. This is where you get the base form Goku. This Goku, by the way, does increase the super attack of uh, this guy over here. So you can increase the super attack before you Doken Awaken him. So definitely farm that out. You also have Meta Rildo, which is available from this. This Goku will also Doken Awaken into a Super Saiyan Goku, which you can feed into other Super Saiyan GT Gokus. Um, that is a little bit of a grind fest, but it is possible. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Rildo will Doken Awaken into Hyper Meta Rildo. Um, you also get the Trunks Metals here in order to Doken Awaken the Technique Trunks. He is a good support unit, so definitely get these medals ready if you want to go ahead and do that. Even if you don't have the Trunks, I would definitely do that. Um, the Gokus are going to be available on stage 2, so go ahead and farm them up and then, you know, Z-Awaken them and then increase the super attack of the Goku if you get him. Uh, while you're doing it, you're also going to get the Metal Apple, so it's kind of worth it. Trunks Metals are available on stage 3, Pan Metals are available on stage 6, um, uh, the, whatever the Force, the Triforce, whatever the heck this is, is available on stage 8, those are the Metals. Uh, Roldo is available on stage 9, and, um, Dr. Miyu, I think it is, is available on stage 10, those Metals. Um, in terms of best Metal Drops... Uh, you're going to go ahead and do stage 7, something planet M2. Um, you actually, you know, so I, I always said to do it on Z hard because you get 400 drops or more. Um, it turns out that actually you get more drops per stamina if you run M2 on normal. Because you're going to get the 200 drops, but you're using less stamina doing it. But I think, again, that's very time consuming. So if you want to be more efficient, do it, uh, do it this way. If you want to be more time efficient, do it on Z hard. Anyway, uh, that ends on the 19th, so you have a couple weeks to do that if you want to. Next one is going to be the Tapion event. Uh, this is, runs until 7-7-2018. This is the actual story mode. Uh, you have the free-to-play Great Saiyan Man Gohan here. Um, or, and you also, if you run certain stages enough times, you will you can get the mission rewards for the Videl Saiyan Man. Uh, you have the Tapion medals on stage 3, Trunks medals on stage 4, the actual Trunks card on stage 5, and the Tapion flute on stage 6. That flute is required, well not required, but it makes the uh, Dokkan event for Tapion a lot easier. So go ahead and get that. This is the Videl I was talking about, the physical one. She's still cute, ain't she? 
Um, anyway, this is a Dokken Wake into that Trunks, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This runs until 7-7, seven, seven, so you have about three days left if you haven't grinded this out. Consider doing so. Um, next story event is going to be the Bio Broly event. This is the one where you can farm out Krillin's Bio Broly. Uh, Bio Broly is, I guess, more uh, good defensively for certain aspects, but I, I personally, I mean, get him Super Attack 10, 4 JPS unlock Dokken Awaken him. There's no reason not to do that. I'm not going to tell you to put Dupe System into him, though. Um, you get the medals for this Android 18 over here to Dokken Awaken her. I've done multiple videos on her. She still is not useful to this day. Um, the Gohan, or sorry, Go 10 and the Trunks medals are available here. Definitely get them. They are both very good units, especially even when they Dokken Awaken. They get so awesome. Um, the Trunks actually can, you know, technically, he's like a very high A tier unit on a mono hero physical team uh, and a Majin Buu arc team, depending on what you're running. Because he links well with Gotenks, all the Gotenks. Is. So uh, keep that in mind. The, the Gotenks, not so much, but he does attack plus 90% up and he is still an A tier unit because of that damage output. Um, you have the Android 18 medals on stage 3. Goten and Trunks medals are available on stage 2. The Krillin card drops are available on stage 4. Uh, you can use that to also increase the super attack of the Baba Shop Krillin. So keep that in mind. And Bio Broly card and medals are available on stage 5. Again, guys, this is going to run until 7-7. So you have three days left if you haven't printed that out. At least do the missions just for the Dragon Stone. Uh, next is the Dokkan Festival. We're back on the banners now. So there's only three banners available right now. This one runs until 7-19. That's Super Saiyan 4, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, this banner has Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The Goku GT Kid. This one, we already talked about both of these. Um, I did already put up a team building guide for the Ultra Super Saiyan 4. Uh, pretty much with its best linking buddies per category, per uh, attribute type. And then like two recommendations on teams. I, well, one recommendation I would run and then one from the Reddit. So go ahead and check out that video if you haven't checked it out already. Um, I am working on the Cell and the Frieza um, cards. Uh, we'll review. I actually, I'm going to be recording that right after I'm done with this video. So uh, I'm going to be doing that. These cards are pretty cool. I like them. Um, so they're also on this banner. They're not bad units. It's just that uh, they need some specialties to happen in order for them to be really useful. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, in terms of this banner, I think the banner is cool and everything. I, I Unless you are like, uh, if you're a super big Frieza fan or Cell fan, uh, definitely summon on this. The Super Saiyan 4 Goku is definitely awesome. He's definitely very powerful. And he helps like create synergy for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on Shadow Dragon's team. But... I don't know many people who actually run a Shadow Dragon's team, but I never see Omega Shenron's in the lead. Um, if you do an Ultra Power team, definitely. I mean, LR Gohan's in this Ultra Power category. Uh, LR Broly's in this category. Uh, LR Bojack's in this category. So, and, I mean, you have a lot, a lot of units that are super powerful in this category. Um, so this is a very good team or a very good leader skill to go for. The, the only thing about this is I'm not a big fan of the banner. Um, I like these cards, but these are very specific, unique situations, and I feel like if you, um, unless you actually like Cell or Frieza, you're probably not going to run them, and because they're passives, you need something special to happen, uh, a lot a lot of people, standardly, normally, people will not go and make their, they'll set them up so that way their passives can go off. Um, so like, I think Cell, you need to have them stunned in order for his passive off, or sealed, I think Cell is sealed, and Frieza is stunned, and they get like additional attack and stuff like that, I mean it's cool, but, like, how many Dokken events can you actually stun and or seal? They're like, all that stuff is not, you can't actually do that because it's prevented in this once you get to a certain stages in them. So I feel like they're while they're cool and they have good concepts, it won't be utilized. Um, and the base form Goku, the kid Goku, while he's cool, he's like, I don't see him being viable. So you're really summoning for one card, and it's like less than a 1% pull rate to get him. So, or it is probably a 1% pull rate to get it. But anyway, that's just my opinion on it, guys. Uh, myself, I will probably, unless they change up the banner, I am probably not going to summon on this when it comes to the global. I will probably wait till he's available on another banner myself. Uh, anyway, sorry about that little ramble over there. You have the Tech Gacha that's available until 7-7. You have the TN and the Cell over here, which are really good support units for their mono respective teams. TN is going to be hero technique hero uh, support. Cell is going to be extreme technique support. Uh, both of them are pretty awesome. You get Elder Kai's per summon, and you have, what, the LR Zamasu in there. Uh, Zamasu and Rose in there, so that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's available, so if you want to go ahead and summon on that. I think the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, or the Super Saiyan, the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is in here as well. Uh, technique types, that is, so. Uh, anyway, last but not least, we have the Gasha Directed Renewal Memorial Ticket Gasha, whatever that means. Anyway, it runs until 7-7 as well. Uh, you have uh, Mass Saiyan on here, you have the Super Saiyan 3... Uh, Vegeta and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, then you have Kale and Kefla. Don't waste your tickets, don't, I mean, don't waste your uh, stones on this. I wouldn't recommend doing it. I said tickets because that's what Bleach Brave Souls uses. Uh, definitely don't recommend doing that. Um, I think it's a cool banner, but like, I don't think it's worth it in my opinion. 
But anyway, guys, yep, that's it for the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Uh, all that stuff's here right now. It's definitely cool. Um, I, I thought everyone, I, I spoke to people, and we thought that it was like, oh, it's Shafting Global's third year. But after like looking at it and like the team building, the team building's cool. And he in the Super Saiyan Four or the Ultra Super Saiyan Four closes off like a couple categories, and especially with heroes, it's such an awesome guy for heroes team. But like effectively, I I think that people made it out too much just because it's a Super Saiyan 4. Now, I am a big fan of Super Saiyan 4. Um, I just like the design. That's all there is to it. Like, I'm not saying that Super Saiyan 4 can beat Super Saiyan Blue. I'm just saying I like the design better. So, that's just my opinion on it. I know there's a lot of fanboys out there who get angry, and if you're one of them, I apologize for... I, I, I don't know why I'm apologizing, actually. So, I like Super Saiyan 4 better because I think it's a cooler design, period. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Um, that's all the news for today. Stay tuned. I will, again, will probably be releasing video. I might release one more video today. If not, um, stay tuned the next couple days. I'll definitely have some good video and good content out for you. Anyway, guys, thank you. I'll touch you in the comments below. Peace.